All right. Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Facebook Live. All right. Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Facebook Live. And we're going to cut some of this noise right. out. Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. And we got Kai here today. Kai, come over here, young man. <laughs> so Kai, I know he's not camera shy. Kai. So Kai, the birthday's today. He's going to be 11. He's 11 years old today. So we wanted to wish him happy birthday. And he's acting camera shy. I'm not. All right. Say hi, Kai, to everybody. Hello, hello. So he's 11 years old, and he got his first facial, which I thought was hilarious because I'm 49. I ain't got one yet, but I'm going to get one after I've seen him get one. It looked it look refreshing, and we got pictures that we will post. I don't know if it's going to be posted on the Elevate site, but they will be posted. Thank you, Kai. Kai wants to get back to his video game. So anyway, so welcome, Facebook. Welcome, Instagram. Thank you for coming out. What are can you hear me? Can anybody hear me? If you can hear me, say yes or or okay or anything. I, oh, they can hear me. I'm saying happy birthday, Kai. But my mom just says can't hear you. Can't hear me? Uh, anybody else can't hear me? I see Ann is on. Hi, Ann. Can you hear me? Ann can hear me. Uh yeah, if you can put a one in the comments, if you can hear, Ann already got your reply. But if you can put a one. Yes. Yes. Okay, great, great, great. So Facebook Live Elevate, third, third installment. Very excited about this. And uh, we like to do this. As we, we're setting traditions. We're, we're setting traditions uh, each time. We're, we're starting a new tradition. And, and we're asking people to post the city that they are from. Or I should say that you're currently in the city that you're currently in as far as where you live now. If you just post that city, it's very interesting to see uh, where everybody's coming from. So if you can put that in the in the comment box, what city you live in. All right. And while you guys are doing that, just couple housekeeping things just every Wednesday at seven we come on and we try to discuss topics that are or we do discuss topics that will help you get there as far as uh, leadership trying to get your team there we're going to go into some of the things actually will help you as an individual get to where you want to be uh, today's topic is more team oriented but um, what we do is every Wednesday at 7 p.m. we do these Facebook lives and uh, if you go to the website you'll see the other other two we've done um, and uh, we're going to start doing a reboot on Friday nights. So on Friday nights around 7, we're going to do a reboot. But you can always go to the website and and see the previous uh, Facebook lives we've done. So the first one was just general. Uh, we uh, The last one was more about, we talked about how to make people grow. Uh, like I said before, it was my favorite session. But yeah, that was uh, that's going to be every 7, 7 o'clock every Wednesday. We'll be meeting on Facebook Live. So I want to thank you guys that are on College Station, Miss Ann. Uh, Trisha Renee can hear me. Uh, I've got two from College Station. And all through this, the way this works is that we really look forward to your comments because that's what makes it interactive. So all through it, I might be talking about something, but I will stop. When I see something in the comments and just comment on the comment. So very, very, um, and we always end timely. We'll be done by 7.30 because we really uh, value your time and we appreciate you coming on. So um, most of you know me. Uh, the ones that don't, I'm Curtis Carr. I've been in leadership for over 30 years. I've been in a training capacity for over 15. I'm the founder of Elevate, which is equipping leaders of tomorrow. Um, we're a consulting agency and elevate is an acronym. So elevate is an acronym. The E stands for expectations. The L stands for leadership. The E is ethics. The V is vision. The A is attitude. T is temperaments. And the E is effectiveness. Uh, my cousin Tamika, and I told her I will always call her Tamika on here because she goes by Alec. I guess that sounds smoother. 
Plus, she's from Cali. So I guess that in California, it sounds better to say Alec. But her name is Tamika. So when you see Alec on there, that is Tamika. So hi, Tamika. And what we're doing is putting the city, the city that you live in now, we're just posting it. We got Houston. We got College Station. And with Tamika, we got Laga Vista, which is right outside of Austin. Beautiful area. Beautiful area. Alec, I mean, I'm sorry, Tamika said stop it. So I won't call her uh, Tamika anymore, Tamika. All right, so uh, we're a consulting agency. And what we do is we, we help the individual, whether it be personal development or with businesses. We do it with groups. And basically, uh, we teach them leadership skills, leadership training. And our leadership team is comprised of myself, Sharndell Carr, my wife, and one person who we shall shall remain nameless because we're waiting for them to finish with the organization they're with or finish in one of the projects they're on. But basically, if you saw the experience listed on this roster, all I can say is we're stacked. We're stacked. And, and uh, a lot of experience, not a lot of people that just talk, but a lot of people that have done it. And for me, as a guy, that is, uh, that, that's one of the key things I look for, if you have done it. you know. Uh, so in the coaching world, there's really three levels of coaches out there. Uh, we talk about this in the book, but basically you have what you call the degreed, the deputy, and you have the doer. All of them have tremendous value. All of them have tre tremendous value. Uh, Angelique, thank you, Angelique. And it's funny because we're talking about coaches and um, we're not a company that just says, hey, get a coach. We're a company that has a coach and our coach is on right now. There's a lot of areas when you're starting a business and, and she helps us in a, a, a one of the areas, the e-courses that we work with. Tremendous, tremendous. I wish she can get on here and speak because she's good. She's really good. She's a lot more energetic than I am. I got to uh, kind of fake it a little bit, but I get more passionate when I'm actually doing the one-on-one -on -one coaching because that's what I really love to do. This kind of stuff is a little new to me. But uh, Angelique, uh, she does a lot of work uh, with e-courses and helping people set them up. And we meet with her once a week. My Aunt Stephanie is on in Pflugerville. Hi, Aunt Stephanie. Jock is on. That's my man, Jock. Jock is my man. I really appreciate Jock coming on. Jock probably works harder than anybody on this, on this uh, live. I mean, I mean... Uh, and a lot of boldness. He went and started his own business. And uh, 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 it's Tennessee Wings. It's called Rosalind's, but it's it's Tennessee style wings. Thanks for getting on, uh, Jock. And uh, 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 as I as I was talking about, basically, uh, there's three types of of coaches out there. You got the degree, you got the deputy, and you also have the doer. So the degree is the people that usually have an advanced degree. They haven't done it, but they've read a lot about it and they've coached a lot of people and they, they have a lot of value. Then you have the deputy. That's usually the person that was in the inner circle. And I'm going to kind of piggyback on the NBA championship was won last night. And the coach uh, of Milwaukee Bucks, the Milwaukee Bucks won it, just in case you don't know. Hope nobody had uh, recorded it and was waiting to find out who won because I just messed it up for you. Milwaukee won. But Michael Boldenholzer and I hope I didn't butcher, I butcher his name, but Michael Boldenhoser, he, he's the head coach of the Milwaukee Bucks. And he's a guy, he's winning it for his first time, but he spent 17 years with the San Antonio Spurs. And the San Antonio Spurs have won five championships. He's been under uh, Popovich. And so basically, it's a good, uh, good time to talk about the deputy. He's a guy that was in the inner circle. So guys like that, he was in the inner circle. He wasn't the leader, but he was in the inner circle. And he led... Um, uh, the Milwaukee Bucks now, because somebody hired him from that inner circle. He had a couple coaching gigs, and now he finally led his own team to a championship. But they were hoping when they heard these people that hired him, they were saying, man, this guy's been in that inner circle with a guy that has won it over and over again. He understands that culture. He understands what it takes, and, they, and, and, and he led his team. So uh, I was not going for them, so I'm disappointed. I wanted the Brooklyn Nets to win, but... I'm kind of over it, and I think I'm going to do is just change the subject so I don't, uh, my attitude doesn't change on this call. So anyway, so our leadership team is comprised of a bunch of people that are doers, which is the last level. These are people that have actually done it. So that's what our leadership team is comprised of, and I'm very excited about that because all those little nuances, all those little things that happen, the grays is what I call them, the grays, um, 
we can help you in those areas because we've actually walked it. So we'll be sharing uh, lessons learned, how to's and next steps. And at the end of the day, you'll have a clear understanding of how to get to where you want to be and have the tools to get there. So definitely. Oh, uh, thank you. My cousin Tamika likes my Elevate jersey. So uh, I'm very proud of my Elevate jersey. Uh, uh, I wish I can turn around, but I'm afraid I'm going to knock something over. So, But the, in the back, it has my name and the number 97 uh, because in 1997, we got our first paid client. So, you know, when you get your first paid client, it's, 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 it's like, oh, you feel like you've been confirmed. So that 97, I'll always remember. My aunt's sister is on and and I appreciate aunt sister. She's faithful. <laughs> She's faithful. Uh, and uh, uh, it's hard to do. It's harder than I thought when you, you try to look at these uh, comments. But uh, say hi to Tanae and Trisha. Hi, Tanae and hi, Trisha. Hello, hello, hello. And and Angelique, did you put what city? Did Angelique put what city? So we got Aunt Stephanie from Pflugerville, P-Town, as we call it. The actual place I went to high school was in Pflugerville. So uh, appreciate Aunt Stephanie. Aunt Stephanie is a tremendous, she has an impact uh uh, social program that she does is called Impact Texas. I'm a part of it uh, where she hands out backpacks. She does stuff for the homeless, shoes, food. Uh, so great program. And uh, Los Angeles is in the house. That's where Angelique is from. And then we have Richmond. So then I'm going to uh, kind of jump to uh, before we get to the content, I want to recognize a couple different groups here we have on the call. Some are on here simply because they, they're, they're supporting us. And I, I very much appreciate that group. These are, these are friends and family, people I love, uh, people that feel the same about me. Very appreciative, appreciative of the group. We also have people who are just peeping in, peeping us out because they're curious. But there's another group I would like to talk to just for two or three minutes, just for two or three minutes. And that's the group of people that... Uh, they might hear us on the reboot or they, they're listening right now, but those are the people that are feeling stuck internally. They're stuck internally and they want to really get to that next level. Or maybe you feel like your career is not moving as fast as it should be. Or maybe you're a leader that just can't get your team to, uh, over the hump and, and you're frustrated or you're beyond frustrated. That's the group I want to talk to. So what I would tell you is just to encourage you to take that next step and get help. I mean, that's what uh, consulting agencies for. And like I was saying, we're, we're not a group that says get help and don't get help ourselves. When you, when you're really trying to get to that next level, you, you need somebody that's been there and done it that can really help you get through those gray areas. So if you're, if you're making less than a hundred thousand a year, there's no reason that you can't double your income with learning some great leadership skills, executing them going day by day. And not only the money, but you'll get a sense of deep fulfillment because you're actually on the other side, the side where there's people making an impact, not on the side that's always be an impact. You'll be the one impacting. So uh, definitely want to encourage you to become a part of it. We offer free stat uh, strategy sessions. Uh, and that's just for those that are like, who are you guys? We don't know you. You know, you're new. So we offer free strategy sessions where you, you come on, we get some information from you and then we'll I'll meet with you over the phone and we'll, we'll map out 30 days. Uh, we have a new ebook that covers topics on leadership, uh, overcoming challenges and having the proper perspective. So that, that is online right now that can be purchased. Uh, we have two levels of one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions and it has within 45 days. We'll also have the e-course too. So the last thing I'll say to this group is that one person said, and I, I, uh, it's very powerful. He said the biggest reason people don't succeed is because they don't expose themselves to existing information. The biggest reason people don't succeed is because they don't expose themselves to existing information. So take advantage of the opportunity. OK, take advantage of the opportunity. We're here for you and we can make a difference. So I'm going to move on from that. And I, uh, I know we're still shouting our cities. Uh, my dad came in and said Cedar Park. So I know my mom's there with them. So hi, mom and dad. They're coming down. Uh, quick story real quick. I know it's 7.15. So Kai is 11 years old. Last night, Kai's in our mirror 
in the in the master bedroom and he thinks that he's growing facial hair. So he's, he asks us, he asks us, is that hair? And I don't see nothing. I mean, like absolutely nothing on that face. I think it was lint. I think it was lint. So my dad uh, chimed in because we put it on Facebook and my dad chimed in and said he's going to bring his razor and his shaving cream for Kai. But but uh, it was hilarious if you were there at the moment. It was hilarious. So, uh, oh, and and I, I, we're going to have to drive out to College Station <laughs> to meet Miss Ann, Miss Ann Boykin. She said the ebook is wonderful. Uh, great motivational quotes and quant content. I really, really appreciate Ann. Uh, our first ebook customer besides myself, I bought one for myself. So really appreciate it. I, Andrea, thank you. Uh, I appreciate you chiming in. And so the, uh, as we go on, Facebook Live is meant to be interactive. I appreciate your interaction. Uh, always post comments at any time. Uh, and like I said, we'll definitely get you out of here. Please like and share. If you can, please like and share uh, because that'll get the word out what we're trying to do here. Uh, David Caballero, a, a longtime friend. We is one of those friends that you talk to every now once and again, but we worked in the same company for years. He shared last week. Really, really appreciate him sharing. He also shared it and mentioned a company that he actually wanted us to, that he was encouraging that company to work with us. So definitely appreciate that. So uh, uh, I wanted to get into the content a little bit because today we're talking about how to get your team working towards excellence. So very it's funny because I said last week is my favorite, but you know this is what I do. It's it's gonna it's gonna be hard for me not to say every week that this is my favorite. So this is this is my favorite today. How to get teams working towards excellence, and I wanted to refer back to Anne, and this is Anna actually. Anna uh, on the first session she asked a question about how she can get uh, some people that she's working with to be more productive, and and it kind of piggybacks on that too. So when you're trying to get your team working towards excellence, there's really the first step is really important. And it is, you must relate. You must relate. Now relate is an acronym. And, but I mean the meeting in, uh, meaning in twofold relate to connect to people and also relate as an acronym, which we'll go through in a minute. But as we talked about before, uh, ain't Barbara. Hello. Hello. Thank you, Aunt Barbara. She said, I'm doing an amazing job. You need these people that will tell you you're doing amazing, even if they're lying to you. I take it. Just keep saying it. Just keep saying it, you know, but but we must relate. So relate means to connect. But there's also uh, we form it as an acronym. So so we get positions, we get we get put in positions of authority. We have roles where we might be a team lead. We might be a supervisor. We might be a uh, uh, a corporate director, whatever our, our title is, we get that position. And, and that's the first step is the position. But the next step is permission. And that permission is based on your ability to connect to the person. And when we talk about teams, you got to connect to each individual. There's no such thing as connecting to the group. You got to connect to each individual. So, so permission is the hardest level. And there's, there's five levels to it, but Permission is when that person says, hey, I'll permit you to be the person that influences me. I'm going to follow you. I believe in you. I trust you. And it's the hardest level. So to, to get to that level, you have to start first attacking that. You got to be like, hey, I need to connect to my people. I need to relate to my people. So as we talk about relate as the acronym, the R stands for realize you must be human. The first step, you're not above them. You're you're a person or maybe on the on the so-called ladder you're above, but you're a human as a uh, as your human makeup. You're not any greater than they are. Uh, you're just another human and you need to relate that way. You're human. So you're not perfect. Don't be overly humble either. Just be you. But you have to get to know them. You know, what do they do on their spare time? What's their favorite TV show? What kind of music do they like to listen to? Uh, are they married? Do they have kids? Uh, get to know them, connect to them, you know, and, you know, in these day and ages, I mean, this day and age, we shouldn't have to say this, but you should want to know that kind of stuff. It, it, it should be something that you care about. You work with them every day, 
uh, you, you've been given responsibility to work with them and you're probably with them more than you are with your own family. So connect, connect to them. So realize you must be human. And there's a whole list of that. This can go a lot of different ways. I have a thing called be commandments, you know, how you should be. Uh, uh, but we don't want to go too far into that. But this, and if you take the program, you'll see what the B commandments are. And you want to make sure that it is something that you're very intentional about. Don't get caught up into going to work every single day and not knowing those people you work with. Very important. Very important. So talk to me. How many people we got out there? Anybody get anything out of that? The first R is realize you must be human. Realize you must be human. And you don't, you can type a Y or a no or a N if you didn't get anything out of that, but that's the first R. Re you know, and then we also always encourage people to uh, take out their paper and pen and take notes. Uh, e is for endeavor to build relationships. It's kind of piggyback what we're talking about. Make sure that you get to know the people, endeavor to build relationships. And that building is not just one day. It's every single day. You got to put that, hey, I'm building relationships with these people I work with every day. You know, uh, unfortunately, I had a person I found out last week passed away. I worked with her shoot, probably about 10, 12 years ago. And the uh, HR manager who was uh, it's funny because we had a rough relationship, but this lady, she loves people. And she reached out to so many people and told us about Cheryl. Hey, Renee, appreciate you. Appreciate you coming on. But she she uh, passed away. Uh, this lady epitomized leadership. She she worked in a department. She didn't have a title, but everybody was influenced by her. I don't care if you were the. Uh, the hip hopster or the uh, what do you call it when you're into the gothic or or uh, into country. It didn't matter who we put in that area. She connected to them. They respected her and they they were impacted by her life. And uh, she passed away last week of cancer. Uh, I remember when her, her husband passed away. And I just want to uh, give a, a, a special uh, uh, prayer for 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 Cheryl. So, uh, but anyway, endeavor to build relationships. The second one is L, which is level set expectations. Now this one here, you would think this would be easy, but most of the time when I, I go to different stores and, you know, we look at the challenges that uh, the people that are running the business are having, we see this is not happening. So level set expectations. So if I was to go to, to Joe or Jackie and ask them, what does your supervisor expect from you is not clear. And and one of the top jobs besides connecting to your people is to make sure your people know what's expected. So level set expectations is critical. You know, anybody should be able to walk up to them and say, hey, uh, Curtis, what's your job in the house? And I don't have to do much. I ain't gonna lie to you. Uh, my wife does a lot of stuff, you know, and she, she uh, but one of the things I have to do is take out the trash. So if, if somebody was to come out to me and say, hey, what do you have to do in that house? I say, hey, the expectation is I take out that trash. And the expectation is that Kai brings the trash can back in. But because it's his birthday, I brought it back in for him today. And I made sure he knew it too. I said, hey, this is your birthday gift, partly. So uh, he was appreciated, appreciative, but he also act like you're supposed to take it out, take it back because it's my birthday. So we had a little bit of that going on. So at the end of the day, Level set expectations. And then the A stands for Kisa. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Kisa's on. So Kisa, you got to put your city that you're in. For one, I want to know if you're still out West. And then uh, uh, Kisa, I don't even know if you want me to say this, Kisa. Kisa got to be about four nine, but she's a firecracker. I mean, she gets her teams moving. Um, uh, she is a fun person to be around. Anytime we had meetings, uh, she was a live wire. Uh, and uh, it was funny because, I, you know, we're going to have seminars. Uh, we're going to have seminar speakers. And these might not be Elevate classes, but they're going to be based on what the person does. So we we I, I, I talked to Kisa about this a while back about Long Beach, Washington. Oh, she said she's not 4'9", she's 4'10". Oh, excuse me. Excuse me, you're 410. I was so wrong. So wrong. She's 410, everybody. She's 410. So anyway, 
uh, Kisa's phenomenal, and and hopefully we can get her involved in this too, because this this is this is what she does. Uh, she's she's really good at this. So leading teams. So the the T, because I know we're about five minutes left. The T is to talk to your team to get feedback all the time. Talk to them. How they feeling? How they feel about you? How they feel about the other guys you have in leadership? How do you feel about your teammates? How do you feel about this job? Talk to them. I always tell them uh, that, you know, they have that term, say, talk about the good, the bad, the ugly. I always tell people, talk about the good, the bad, the ugly, and the real ugly, because we know that it gets messy, you know, and we have to talk about those real ugly things. And sometimes the solution is that, hey, I don't have a solution now. We're going to have to fight through this real ugly situation, and hopefully down the road, we can fix this thing. But you know, you got to talk to them regularly. And then the last one in relate is encourage your team always, always encourage them. Hey, you know, even the person that you can tell is halfway out the door is still doing some things right. And you got to make sure that you tell them, hey, good job on this or good job on that. Uh, I've, I've worked with a lot of people that they're like, hey, I'm just here for this reason. But it's not like they they do everything wrong or maybe they had a bad attitude or but they they do some things right. And you got to be intentional about making sure that those people are encouraged and you give them the encouragement that they deserve. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Miss Ann. Um, and then, so we talked about it. The R for relate is realize you must be human. The E is endeavor to build relationships. Uh, the L is level set expectations. The A is ex assess productivity and culture always. I kind of ran over that one. But, you, you, you know, we, we're being hired to do a job. So we can't get lost in the uh, call it getting lost in the sauce, you know, because I found over the years that uh, that you really have kind of two types of leaders out there. For the most part, you have the, the money minded and the people that are overly people centric. And, you know, one of the things that that you have to do is you have to make sure that you, you understand that you're a steward over over whoever's company that you're working for. And that you got a responsibility to, to, to be productive, but you also have a responsibility to other people to be relatable, to connect, to be a good person because you got to, they deserve that. So it doesn't have to be either or you want to do both. So assess productivity and make sure your culture is always on point. Uh, when I say culture on point, are the people always, are they always growing? That's the easiest way to check your culture. Are people growing? Um, we used to say a long time ago that anything healthy will grow. So if they're not growing, something's not healthy, you know? And um, uh, so making sure that we assess productivity and culture always, talk to your team, get feedback, the good, the bad, the real ugly, encourage your team always. So those are the points. Uh, and I, I wanted to make sure that I thank everybody that came out. I know we only got this thing goes so fast. And it's funny because I used to tell my wife this is going to be 15 minutes. There's no way we'll be able to do this in 15 minutes. But uh, I know she's going to probably tell me we need to do it for an hour. 30 minutes tops. That's what I, that's my vote. 30 minutes tops. So I want you to take a chance if you can. Make sure you uh, share and like uh, because we really want to get the word out. And take advantage of the offerings we have. Don't forget about the, the uh, take that step. Sign up. Sign up for a one-on-one. -on -one. Sign up for a free strategy session. Uh, always, we have a little saying on the website that's coming out. It says, focus on growth and elevate now. Focus on growth and elevate now. You know, it's in your hands. So I want to thank you so much. Shar, am I missing anything? Like and share. Like and share. And I'm going to use this one minute to give my wife a, uh, uh, the praise she deserves. She works really hard and she'll say little things like my my husband got me working five jobs. So, but she is very, very uh, hard worker. I mean, when, when we first met, I was like, this woman works too hard. You know, she works really hard and, uh, you know, and it's, and uh, she just has a, a great mind uh, or what she would say is her bandwidth is wide, but it, it's true. You know, I don't tell it too often because I know she already knows it, but she has wide bandwidth, y'all. Wide bandwidth. So if there's no other questions, I really appreciate you guys coming out. And if you uh, if you have any questions, you can always go to info at mustelevate.com. We must elevate.com. And uh, Kisa, really uh, good to see you. Jock, sister, and Antoinette. 
Hello, hello. Of course, my great mother-in-law who birthed my wife's. So great mother-in-law. Uh, I know where she got a work ethic from because she doesn't stop either. I think she got three jobs right now, you know, uh, just going, 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 going. So I appreciate you guys coming out. If you have any questions, reach out. Oh, yes, right, uh, Tamika. Behind every good man. Thank you, Tamika. Tamika's always shouting out for the women. So you guys have a great one. Uh, please like and share. Please like and share. Please like and share. Thank you. Have a good night.